Live look outside this morning where we've had a couple of snow flurries coming down here across the Toledo Metro. It's been a little bit of a weird January, hasn't it? We've had plenty of cold days, but not much in the way of snow to show for it here. But I will show you where some flakes are coming down across Northwest Ohio in just a moment. 18 degrees. We are now down another degree here at Toledo from the last report and a west wind continues to blow at 12 miles per hour. Now, when you look at radar, you might be saying snow. I don't really see a whole lot out there. Yeah, until you look over towards Port Clinton and Sandusky lake effect. That's going to much heavier impact from Lorraine Cleveland eastward, but doesn't mean that we don't get in a little bit of it. Look down towards Port Clinton, a thin band of snowfall here, and we're seeing this showing up with live images right along the waterfront. That snow's coming down. We've also had a little bit of the snow blowing across the roadways as well. So from Port Clinton up towards Catawba, Danbury, over towards Sandusky, down to Perkins Township. I'd be watching this a little close on the roads this morning. Not only will you have to contend with the cold, but a little bit more in the way of snowfall. And if family or friends are going to be traveling along I-90 this morning between Cleveland and Buffalo, lake, uh, lake effect snow going to be impacting a large portion of the lakefront there. Winter weather advisories in place for accumulations in some spots over six inches. For them, they're just like, hmm, it's an advisory. No big deal for us. That would be a lot of snow, especially compared to what we've seen so far this season. As it stands, just a few snow flurries for the majority of the area and bitterly cold wind chills that you can see are in the single digits. And even after the sun comes up, this is 9 a.m., not much of a change. Still talking about single digit wind chills into the afternoon. And I will tell you tonight, if you've got plans this evening, it even drops off quicker once the sun goes down for tonight. Sub zero is what it will feel like on the skin. A cold start to tomorrow morning, kind of what you expect for the month of January, maybe with some sunshine improving things a little bit by tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, we're talking a chilly start this week, 20s today and tomorrow. We do get back north of freezing on Wednesday and all of that lake effect that's going on today. If you have family and friends that are going to be traveling late this week, notice highs go back above freezing Thursday and Friday. So we should see that shut off there Sunday and there's Saturday as well. This weekend, maybe a weak little clipper system coming across the Great Lakes with more of the same likely for next week.